Welcome. Now that you have successfully logged into the Team Analysis website, it's time to look at how to log sample data into the site. This training will give you a quick tour of the website, demonstrate how to enter a sample, and then export a team recommendation report. This training will also cover how to view archive reports previously entered by you. Before we begin, please note, if you need a written language other than the preferred language you've selected upon registration, you can change the language here in this location. Let's get started. This is the Team Analysis homepage that contains all the menus for navigation. The Team Analysis website offers three different types of recommendations. First, plant tissue analysis. Second, organic tissue analysis, and third, soil analysis. In addition, you can look at archived recommendations for all three types of analyses, and they are available through the same menus here and here. Analysis for organic tissue recommendations and soil recommendations are similar in nature, so we will not be demonstrating data entry for those areas. To enter data for tissue recommendations, click on tissue on the menu bar and then on add tissue analyses to see the tissue analysis data entry page. This is the tissue analysis page. Here you will input all the data important to the sample. Your dealer name should appear here. Next, enter the grower, farm, and the crop for the sample you will be entering. When entering both the grower and farm information, the first time you will need to input the complete name and then select as grower, like this, and click on add as new grower. And do the same for the farm field. and click again as add as new farm. The next time you need to enter the same grower, just type in the first two characters of the name and the form will remember the grower and the farms for ease of use. These first three fields here are the only required fields in this list on the left. Continuing, continue by selecting your crop, your crop variety if needed, <clears throat> field, sample, sample date, and stage of growth. Remember to enter the date in the correct format as demonstrated here. Now, enter the elemental analysis data from your independent lab results in this area. Ensure that the appropriate units of measure are selected. We will first start with our nitrogen. And then sulfur. Phosphorus. potassium, manganese, calcium, remember the percent and ppm difference in this field, these two fields are not re required. Iron, aluminum, manganese, boron, copper, and zinc. And 
this one is also not required. After all data has been entered, click Save. This will archive your report and generate your recommendation. Now let's re review the report and discuss the versatility in the reporting screen. This is done by selecting View Report. This is the team recommendation for Albion products based, set, based on the sample by the data just entered. The website offers three ways to obtain this report. First, the recommendation can be printed from the web page, as you see it here, using your browser print tool. Second, the recommendation can be exported as a PDF document by clicking on PDF in the export field and clicking export and then print this is the field and then export. Third, the recommendation can be exported in a rich text file or .rtf file. These files are flexible and can interface with other applications for data manipulation such as spreadsheets. If you have entered multiple reports and would like to view the recommendation reports, click on Archive Tissue Analysis. The archived analyses are logged on in this page and be, can be viewed by selecting Search. Here are all of the sample archived reports that have been entered on this dealer. To view them, click here. This page can also be used to search for specific archived recommendations by any of the following search criteria. Fill in the appropriate fields and click search. This concludes our training video for data entry. Thank you.